What's going on? Everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, each and every one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Crazy release, the Air Jordan 1. Uh, 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 what do you, I, I kept calling them bleach coral. Everybody else calling them stage, uh, maze, stage haze. Stage haze, stage haze, whatever. Anyway, Jordan 1, they number, they, they ain't gotta be that complicated. They just black, gray, and white Air Jordan 1s. Kind of give me, uh, Birmingham Baron vibes when uh, Jordan played baseball. That's what it remind me of. But anyway, um, weird release. I heard a couple of people tell me that some stores received uh, email confirmation or emails that they couldn't sell the shoe or something like that. But I still want to go in the mall and see if they got any. I saw DTLR, well, somebody who worked at DTLR post that they had men's pair yesterday. And since they posted that, they might be gone. But anyway, I'm going to go in the mall. You know I got to do the mall vlog every time a shoe drop. Nowadays, I got to see if it's sit. Today in 2022, I got to see if the shoe going to sit. Um, so I ain't going to talk y'all head off without further ado. Let's hit this mall and see if them join one sitting, man. Do it. Front locker, man. And the last time I saw this colorway, it was a GSI only. And I see they got them in man size. Somebody made a comment and said they did come in man size. But I guess they just dropped them at their foot locker right here. I like the colorway, man. This will go crazy with a lot of uh, fits, man. And for all the people that hate no mids, man, they some kind. Sometimes they come with the heat. Sometimes they come with the five color wave, man. The Green Bay guy. I don't know what y'all think about them. Uh, Seattle Super Signer. What you thinking with it? That yeah, mid gang going stupid in hell. And they got these nines right here. They did keep popping up. I think Foot Locker just getting their shipments in late. That is what Foot Locker and Champs is known for. Getting their shipments in late, and then the shoes just popping out of nowhere. Chili red, Jordan nines in here. On a Friday, yeah, you talking about? And of course, the usual suspect, a green bean fire guy, sitting like a chicken. Yeah, you talking about? I got a GS size of the Oreo uh, sixes, the red Oreo. Well, I like to call them the red velvet cake guy. Yeah, you talking about? But uh, I still haven't seen the men's size. That's the only thing I ain't seen sitting in the stores. I don't know what y'all thinking about them. I, that's a pass for me, man. I'm good. I got my metallic navies, and that's the only majority white six I'm finna get anytime. I hate when a brand starts selling a little bit, and then they feel like they can do everything. That's the story of champion. And for that, it's a wrap. You feel me? Bro, so they just gonna keep on making making me excited about the uh, playoff 13 they're dropping by bringing these six rings out. They, they gonna, yeah, what y'all gonna keep doing? Jordan Brand, I ain't, want, I ain't need no appetizer. Just give me the main course. Here you talking about? I'm good on these. Let me start talking about Sid Ring because people be getting mad in the comment. Let me let me chill out on the Sid Ring. But they do have heritage and we done seen them a million times so we ain't got to show all that. Bleedy low right here though. Like I said, I only like the OG lows. I do not. I mean, the colors is dope, but I mean, uh Y'all seen the dunk that's this like almost the exact same color? The dunk look better and I don't even like dunks. I just really don't like these fat Jordan 1 lows with this fat uh, nylon tongue, man. I'm, eh, I'm good, bro. So I'm over here in the GS area again. They got playoffs, GS. They got uh, red velvet. <laughs> they got these right here. I know a lot of people were saying these weren't bad, but just give me Chicago's, man. Just give me the Chicago's, and I'm good. You know all these, all these constellation prizes, all these watered down joints. Man, why they make the? I was just, I just realized that the, the elephant print was red. I don't know if I like that. You should have just threw the gray on there and it, it would have been clean. It's, it, ah, they just be killing me with these mash, these mashups, bro. What the hell? What the hell? Hey, man, I had to get them, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap, I had to get them. I ain't so in faith, man, so, you know. I had to get them, though. What the hell, bro? What, 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 bro, what rocking? When them fire come out? I need to know the release date ASAP, son. Let me know. It's all right. Like, uh, the nines, they got, I don't know why they laying on the side. I don't know why all these shoes, why are these shoes laying on the side? What the hell y'all doing? Is this something new that we finna go with? Oh, okay then. Anyway, they got to seem like they got a pretty decent size run of the nines in here, man. When you see more than one on the shelf, at least they got a couple, bro. Uh, Chili Red Nine, Stone Crest Mall, JD Sports Action, man. Get you some. Hey, you talking about some more mids. There goes some more mids. Colorways be going crazy on these mid, man. I like these. I wouldn't buy them, but I like it. I like the fact that they got the uh, gold stitching and the swoosh. And red laces. Yeah, these ain't bad, man. Um, what 
y'all think on. Let me know. Nah, for real though. On these. I said, I'm not a dumb person, but these hard. I ain't gonna care. I like the colorway. I like the materials. You feel me? Yeah, I made with these. I don't know the little toasty. I don't know the little, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what that mean. Y'all comment below and let me know what that mean. But I'm gonna get a size 12. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them, but you usually don't really see the dunks like this sitting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's happening with them. If I get home and I don't like them, maybe I can help somebody out. Uh, my boy Retro will probably want them. Something like that. Y'all gonna keep sleeping on these. Y'all really gonna keep sleeping on these, man. These are buttery. What are you talking about? And we got the uh, Griffies. You know what I'm saying? Oh, a few things in the women's. They got these denim dunk highs right here. Look like they throwing that denim on everything. Nike, they get the materials and they're like, we not gonna let the material go to waste at all. He ain't talking about. Uh, then they got the black and uh, white. The panda colorway-ish uh, dunk highs right there too. And they still got the makeup foundation looking boys right there. And of course, they still got the levens up there. So JD Sports got a few things for the women. They, I guess this is what we doing now, bro. I guess we ain't gonna stop it with the Chicago colorway. I guess, I guess what we doing. I guess we got Baron uh, three, uh, Legacy 312 guys. I, I, I know. But at least they got the uh, elephant print right on them. Uh oh, we getting the extra laces with the mids now. We getting the extra laces with the mids. The mids stepping it up. Not the court purple mids, bruh. The, the mids, the mids, the mids. These is some mid though. Not capping. Like the GS had some restock going on. Got the patent uh, Jordan ones right here, the gold guy. They like to call the New Orleans Saints looking more, you know what I'm saying? They also got the uh, Starfish up there, 13s. Then uh, these released, but they didn't. A lot of stores say they got an email saying not to drop these right here. And I haven't really seen any in this mall or stuff in this GS pal, so y'all let me know. I don't think they dropped it all on sneakers app. All right, bag in the whip, man. Um, and as you can see, I did buy the dunks. I did buy the dunks. I like the colorway. Somebody told me they was winterized, and I I do remember now what the um the the recycled swoosh looking thing is now. It's the refurbished joints. You know what I'm saying? They for some they get refurbishing these shoes or re recycling. I don't know. I think it's refurbishing. That's what I think. The refurbished program or something like that. I I. I remember it a little bit. Anyway, Nike Dunk Low Retro NN. I guess the NN stands for not new. I don't know. <laughs> I don't damn know. But anyway, got it from JD Sports. They come in this like Nike. Um, and see, this is what it is. This product is um, made with at least 20% recycled content by weight, which reduces waste in our carbon footprint. And um, move to the zero is Nike's journey towards zero carbon and zero waste to help protect the future of sport. So these right here are uh, uh, environmentally friendly. Hey, you talking about, but they ain't come with no paper either. I, mean, I guess that's a part of the environmentally friendly action that's going on. But this is my first pair of dunks, man, that I bought in my sound bought dunks before for like help people out and stuff like that. But this is a, my first pair I bought in my size. I'm on the fence whether I'm gonna keep them or not because I I, I kind of prefer a leather, like a really good leather on the dunk, but this colorway is not bad. When I saw them, I was like, okay then. And the dude in there told me they was winterized, which they do look winterized, like some insulation going on on these right here. Got the suede. They didn't come with a second pair of laces. They didn't come with paper, but they retailed at like 100. I think I paid 118 with tax. So I guess uh, retail was somewhere around. I ain't looked at, looked at the receipt. Um, got your Nike on the back right here. Got the gum, dark gum, kind of like bottom, but it's kind of like that recyclable look to it as well. Um, on the inside, it did say, what, what, what does that say? That says upper contains synthetic leather and it says fox fur. Uh, okay, but I think that thing say toasty up under there or something like that. Yeah, it says toasty. Keep your feet warm. Why would they have winterized shoes in the middle of the summer? I have no idea, but they gonna be toasty whenever I decide to wear them. So comment below if I should keep these, Rich Nation. Let me know, should I keep this shoe, bruh? You know what I'm saying? I kind of like them. I like the leather on the swoosh. I never put a pair of dunks on my feet. I only know they fit true to size. So hopefully when I put them on, they fit. But I don't know, man. I'm going to put these on feet and see what they looking like. Wife going to hate it, man. Wife don't like dunks either. And like I said, I'm not the biggest dunk fan. I prefer OG Jordan 1 low if I'm going to get this type of look. 
But that's just me, man. So y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of my purchase. Was it a good purchase? Was it a bad one? I know at the end of the day, a lot of people like dunks. So if I don't keep them, I can help somebody else out. My boy Retro be looking for dunks all the time. I got uh my people up in New York, they be looking for dunks. So if I don't keep them, they gonna go into some uh, good hands, man. So anyway, that's my purchase for the day. Uh, first dunks I ever kind of, I bought dunks before, like I said. But my size and, and, you know, with the intentions of me wearing them, that's my first time ever doing that, man. It's hot out here, bro. Turn this L, boy. Woo -woo. Burn it up. Anyway, um, won't be wearing those no time soon. Speaking of it being hot, but I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Y'all comment below what y'all like this video, what you dislike, all that good stuff, man. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Oh,